He is the PSL Footballer of the Season, the Players' Player of the Season and the top goalscorer in the league. A season to remember for the lad, who's played the game since the age of six. Soccer is one of the, you can say, escape routes, you know, in terms of the life in the townships, because it's very tough, you know, you get drawn into a whole lot of things and you become easily badly influenced, you know, you get bad influences from everywhere in the township, so you, you have to, to choose a route, you know, and I think I was lucky and blessed, you know, to choose a route in terms of what I'm good at, you know, and, and yeah, I mean, it's not easy to grow up in the township, you have to make tough choices, you know, and, and obviously with mistakes alone, but you have to learn from those mistakes, you know, and, and I think I grew up knowing what to do and what not to do from what I, I could see in the township, it was really tough, you know, and obviously I grew up looking up to people like my Imani because they were up there, you know, and a whole lot of other players that come from this township, the late Cheikh Skumani, you know, coach Cesar Mapala, all the people that I used to watch when I was still young and they inspired me to be where I am, I think, today. It's progress that that's when we bought the status for a team called FC Alex. Uh, I wanted only boys from Alex to play for the team because uh, we had a team they called Alex United, so they used players from outside Alex. So I bought the status and then we spoke to uh, some other guys, you know, to come and join the team and leave one of those young boys. I was close to the coach uh, Ian Gorowa. Some, somebody told him about uh, a player that I'm having in my team. So John gave me a call. You've got a striker, I said, the scored 47 goal, but you don't recommend him to him. But I said, John, you didn't say anything to me, you need a striker. So if you say that I've got a boy, that I think got a good potential, a good character, that he can grow with them, uh, the youngsters from Ajax. And then we sent him to Ajax. I think Fopedian was, was still a coach. He fell in love with Lebo. He started his first PSL game for Ajax. No, dude, look, it wasn't easy. It's never easy. No, I mean, obviously, when I got there, I realized that, you know what, I'm here. And this is an opportunity of a lifetime. And there are millions and millions that would want to be where I was at that time, you know. And, and I thought, you know what, I mean, I'm amongst some of the best players in the country. Remember, it? That season we had Tulani who was amazing, you know, we had likes of George Maluleka, you had likes of uh, Tulani Sadrayo, Kama Piliat, you know, those players like Ashford Gutu that play overseas now, Katsande was in our team, Hans Funk was still there, so you see that you, I was in a team with a whole lot of talent and I realised that, you know, this is an opportunity, you know, to try and create a name for myself, but also at the same time to make sure that I, I learn as much as possible from the guys that have been up there before me, you know, and I think that helped me a lot, you know, that season, you know, and you look at where all the players are, if you look at Tulani Satra, he's captain of Vets, captain of the national team, you know, if you look at Serrero, he's done amazing things in Holland, you look at Banduleke, he's doing very well for Chiefs, Kama has been amazing for Sundowns, I mean, and a whole lot of players, Katsande has been great for for, for Chiefs, you know, and if you look at the players that came from that team, you know, I can name a lot, you know, the likes of Tato Mukeke, they're still playing at the top of their game, you know, so, yeah, to be honest, I think that's the best team that I think Ajax has ever had. If you look at how we've grown from, I think it was six to seven years back up to now, then I think you realise that, yeah, that, that could be the best team that Ajax has ever had. Well, to be quite honest, I think that's it's something that I expected, you know, because I think I pushed myself to the limit, you know, but obviously there's room for improvement, you know, and and yeah, I mean, it's a huge honor, you know, to be nominated amongst the best in South Africa, you know, at this moment, you know, and, and yeah, I mean, it's credit to, to like I said before, to, to the team, you know, there's a whole lot of guys that, that that grafted for me to be where I am today, you know, and, and they know themselves, you know, and I, I cannot, I cannot, I don't think there's, there's any way that I can say more than saying that, you know, I, I recognized what they, they did for me to to be where I am today, you know, see, and to have the freedom that I had this season to enjoy my football, you know, and and yeah, I mean, firstly, it's credit to them, but also, you know, I think the fact that I worked very hard, you know, and when you work very hard for the team, you know, I'm, I'm a team player, you know, and you can see when I play that, I play for the team, I don't worry much about individual accolades, you know, but obviously when you, you keep on pushing yourself towards helping the team, then at the end of the day, you know, certain things like what's happening now, they come, you know.
He is the PSL Footballer of the Season, the Players' Player of the Season and the top goalscorer in the league. A season to remember for the lad who's played the game since the age of six.